Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 26, part 7 on my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we expanded to the town of Damascus to transport passengers, as well as accessing this grain farm near Damascus as well, and connecting to the city of Constantinople. Unfortunately, we had to sell off our European vehicles, as we no longer have the ability to keep the game's frame rates in times 8 speed, because of all the numerous vehicles on the map. So to speak. So in this episode, we are basically going to get started on transporting supplies needed for the airport located here in Constantinople. As the airport there will require fuel, tools, and food. But thankfully though, we got food being made We'll get food being made here at the Toulouse Food Processing Plant from this ship, picking up fish in Athens. And then the food also can be processed here in Damascus and brought to the airport as well. So, I'm going to set up a three-track station with 240 meters, put a no on catenary, and then just simply place it here. Although our loan is now to 500 and, well, now up to 600 million credits, hopefully these big deliveries of supplies to the various businesses that I connect to will probably cut down the loans. Alright, now with that track done, we'll place this, uh... uh we'll do this, and do this, do that, and do this. Double slip switch it, and that basically will do it for the new extension into the airport sidings. We'll do that as well, and replace these signals here with these variants. For these, they're gonna be one way as well, but set up on these routes. They then add these signals here and a home signal for the, for the departing train on this siding, which will be reserved for delivering food. You know what? I know I'm not going to basically do it, but I feel like I need to basically run every vehicle I own in order to make money. So, all my vehicles that I have right now, I'm selling them off. Because I'm going to restart my entire transport operations. So, I'm actually going to cut this video right here, and I'll see you all in just a moment once all my vehicles are put back into full operation on the map. And we're back. Now, with all my vehicles now set up entirely, we're basically going to be restarting the entirety of our transport operations, so to speak. But that won't be too bad. I mean, sure my vehicles will only go at a maximum speed thanks to this, well, times two. But at least, however, at the same time, I also got a new ferry service running between Toulouse and Rome. So we can at least carry passengers between these two countries. At the same time, as well, we should also start expanding. I want to reach the city of Tunus, I mean, Tehran, up here. So, we'll have to take out another loan. And unfortunately, all these vehicles cost me to get up to a huge billion loan of credits. So, this is going to take quite a while to build up our revenues to get that paid off. 
but I have a confidence that we'll be able to repay this eventually. Now that I think about it, I think I will actually allow the plane to fly from Constantinople all the way to Tehran instead. At least in Tehran, I could at least pick up, I could at least deliver fuel and deliver tools there. But I'll need lumber or steel for that. And at the same time, we could also deliver oil from here and deliver it to the oil refining facility here in Damascus. Which, by the way, I need to build that extension to connect to that refinery. We'll build a track to the right here on the track that will deliver this grain to the food processing plant here in Damascus. And then we'll build over this road. Like so. And then we'll basically curve it and connect it here. We'll also have to build a tunnel, of course. And because of the tunnel, we'll have to put the crossover switches into there, right here. Not what I was expecting, but... Well, at least it will work somewhat. Alright, signal is in place. Alright, all we just need to do now is also climb this hill, or at least get the train to go up this way, and then eventually build a tunnel to climb up. Place this tunnel here, and add this track up here. that. Make the track a little flatter. And let's see. Well, considering that we need to deliver fuel to or Delhi, I think we'll basically... Hmm. This is going to be a bit of a tricky uh, situation. I want a train to go through here. But I'll have to basically connect to Tehran somehow on the left. Let's see. Hmm. Guess I'll have to build a freight depot on this side. Thankfully, though, we can at least pick up fuel up there. Pick up fuel too much slope. Nuts. Make the road flat and curve it down here. We'll also delete this little nub right there, so we can easily place down that platform. So, we'll place down a two-track platform right here, and despite bad terrain, we can at least smooth it out somewhat. At least this oil will basically be very, very profitable to deliver once we, uh... I think I'll actually do this. Oh, crap. I forgot to actually replace the platform on this track. Please. I'll place these around here. And basically make this track go into the ground, into the embankment. The track will have to climb up, I'm afraid. But, however, at least we can also place this here. Actually, considering that we're going to be delivering fuel out of this air, out of this one, two, to both Constantinople as well as other parts of the map. 
we'll just leave it as a three track station. We'll curve it to the left a bit. We'll go straight, curve to the right again. track will start to climb up again. All right. Okay. Now with that done, we'll now need to build the station here in Tehran. Thankfully, we can just simply drop off the loads of fuel, tools, and food here, super close to the station. To make it a lot easier, the station will basically be a four, a two by two station. We're not gonna basically work on well doing this. Let's see. Tehran station. I'll need to turn this into Tehran Sidings. I'll need to place down these tracks. And then I'll gotta get started on these signals. So, I'm sorry to say this, but I'll have to cut this video here again. And, we're back. So, not only I extended the tracks here into Tehran, but I also finally extended it to the Far East, as far as as Delhi, where our trains from the Middle East will come to an end, and the trains of the Asian region will basically start operations. But first of all, we gotta replace this track here with the correct height. So, the steel will be picked up here at the steel mill on this track, so the tools can be delivered to this tool works here. And I just realized I haven't even connected it to the main line. That is if I'm able to. Okay. I'm able to, but it's kind of a bit of a squeeze. I'll lay the straight track down and build over this crossing. Actually, I'll need to raise this track bed up a bit. Get it flat. And then build a bridge over this road. We'll probably make it a girder bridge as well. And then use the regular track again and reconnect it to the main line. There we go. Now tools can be picked up by the trains and delivered to their respective locations. And at the same time, we can also get started on setting up some routes. First of all, with the arrival of the new oil refinery here in Tehran, I can now start delivering fuel here. I'll have a full load, give it a dark blue color, I'll copy the text here, and put this as M Freight Train MEC Refined Oil. Then we can also pick up the oil here, the fuel here, and deliver to Constantinople. Full load, 10 minutes. Fuel train, well, freight, Middle East Freight Train D fuel. Well, actually, D-1, because there's going to be two of them. We're going to do that, and then deliver the fuel here to Delhi. This is going to be D-2 fuel. It's going to be dark blue, and then we'll need to set up two trains to carry food. 
We'll connect this one, and this one will deliver the food here to this airport in Tehran. So, this will be Freight Train M-E-E-1 -E Foodstuffs. Full load and minutes and deliver it to the cargo platform. And I just realized I could actually deliver more food if I just basically turn this into a double track. Well, turn this into a track that's capable of holding a train carrying in the grain. I'll convert these two signals to the distant upper quadrants. And then add a dwarf signal here onto this new extension. And grain train will be moved onto track 1 instead. No, not track 1, track 3. And I did not set up a double slip switch. The food will then be picked up at Damascus and taken all the way down here to Delhi. Track 2. Let's see. Yeah, changes it back into a double slip switch. Dark blue. Control V. And this will be E2. And this will be foodstuffs again. And then I'll have to make up a new one to pick up the food that's picked up. That's here at this. At Tunus. Which will be picked up and delivered here to Constantinople. This will be train E3 food stops. Alright. Now that in mind, we now have our five new freight trains. We'll get to work on the new passenger trains in the next episode. But for now, we got a lot of work to do. First of all, since we're going to be delivering food and fuel and oil, refined oil basically, I think it's time to change the locomotives that we're using for our freight trains. Our two six, our two eight consolidations are good, but however, though they aren't that powerful. I mean, they have two thousand twenty eight horsepower, but the Bacados, however, they have three thousand units of power. So we'll basically use these for delivering our supplies. First of all, the first new freight train will be carrying refined oil, so it will need some tankers to pick up the oil from the refinery. And I'll need two more of these trains to pick up the loads of fuel and deliver them to their respective destinations. So I'll need three, which will be 76.4 million credits. <sighs> so, basically... Even if we complete this mission, I am not going to basically move on until our entire debt has been paid off. Sure, it's not what I want to do, but I will really at least want to basically run a very profitable business. You pick up refined oil at the Damascus Oil Refinery. Then you pick up loads of fuel from the fuel refinery. And now for the trains carrying food... I'll get the Mikados again, but using these reefer cars, these Tiffany, reefer, these Clustery refrigeration cars, give them this color, and this train will carry about 400 units of food. Actually, 300 units of food each. Actually, 200 units, because... You know what? I'm actually just going to uh, change that. Yeah, 300 units of food. And then I'm going to add a caboose to the back end of the train. That'll get us, you know, I'll need three of these, so I'll need 73.6. I'm going to be so broke because my company value will be very, very, very low. Alright. Alright.
tonight. Purchase these three, and I'll put them to work on the food trains. You pick up food from the food factory and take it into uh, Tehran. You take the food to Delhi, and you take the food into Constantinople. We'll focus on adding the fish later on. Well, getting the steel being produced in Delhi. Anyway, Damascus Exchange. All of our factories, our, all of our industries are growing. Our passenger numbers are starting to increase. And our vehicles are now on their way to making more deliveries and supplies. So we're basically getting everything started back up again. Also, our first ship from our ship running between Africa and Italy is actually starting to make a profit. Not much, normally around 3,000 3.88,000 credits for now. But however, with a direct access between these two countries, these ships will basically make a good amount of money. As well as for my trains here in well, Europe. My vehicles are going to basically make a bit of a profit, too. The station here in Lyon is going pretty smoothly. And also, all of our trees are now basically starting to basically earn their monies again. So, it's going to be a while before we'll finally be able to take down that loan. But, also, I actually realized that I have no bus service here in Damascus. I'll need to connect these two city, two roads together, and let me see, I'll copy this one, control C, and move to line 1, this will be bus service, Middle East, D, and this will be in the town of Damascus. I also realized I hadn't even gotten my buses set up back in the Middle East again. Well, gotten my buses restarted in the Middle East, so I'll have to get started on redoing that. Let's see. Passenger, a pair of these Mac buses. <sighs> Gotta take on another loan. Bus service M E A. Bus service M E B. Bus service M E C. And I realize this is not the right color for this bus service. Purchase two of these buses. Get them green. And put them to work on the D service. Actually, hold on. Did I get my buses in the same color? Might as well redo it just in case. There we go. And with that, I believe we have reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!